Hello everybody, Comte here with another video. How to create a transition which includes a cross dissolve applied to the video content and a cross fade applied to the audio in DaVinci Resolve. Inside your edit window, hold Ctrl and press I to insert two media clips that you wish to use in this project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your Media Pool Master Bin, find the thumbnails for your two chosen files. Left click once on the icon which appears in the bottom right corner as you select the thumbnail of your first chosen video file. Each second of my first video will comprise of 30 stills. The frame rate will help us determine the quantity of video and audio content that we need to acquire in order to make this particular transition. This first video clip also lasts for 5 seconds. If I go to check the clip attributes for the second video, the frame rate of this chosen file is also 30. Like the first video, the duration of the second video clip is also 5 seconds. Drag the first video file that you want to have appearing in your project down to your timeline. Go to select the second video file and drag this to the point on the timeline right after your first video. Ensuring that these two are connected, with no gaps in between. I wish for the palm trees clip to fade to the fireworks clip, with the audio of the palm trees clip getting quieter towards the end of this particular video, and with the sounds of the fireworks clip becoming more audible as this second clip starts. With your selection mode tool, which you can also choose by pressing A, Drag the red playhead on your edit timeline to the point where the first video clip ends and the second video clip begins. In this case here in my project, it will be at the 5 second mark. In order to apply transitional effects, what we need to do to our original video files is trim sections off that can be then used by DaVinci Resolve to make up the final transition. Attempting to apply transitional effects to whole original video clips in DaVinci Resolve will not work. I want for the whole transition in my project to last for 2 seconds. In order to have the palm trees clip fade out in its last second, I first need to identify on my timeline where this final second begins. In this case here we should go to the 4 second mark. To shift your red playhead back to an earlier stage, hold K and press J on your keyboard. Go to your blade edit mode tool which you can also choose by pressing B. Now left click on the red line directly below your red playhead. To make a trim, go back to your selection mode. Choose the final second of your palm trees clip and press delete. DaVinci Resolve will have this final second of my first clip stored in its memory. And to acquire footage that will make up the second and final second of my transition in this project. I need to shift the red playhead forward by one second on the timeline before I can make a trim. Instead of pressing J this time, hold in K and press L to move your red playhead forward. Go back to your blade edit mode tool once again, make a trim on the red line, go to selection mode, select the first edit of your second video and press delete. Go to effects library. Underneath toolbox, in Video Transitions, go to find Cross Dissolve. Click and drag this filter to the point between the two videos that you are using in this project. Ensure that the first half of the white box which appears below your mouse cursor goes at the end of your first video clip, and that the second half of the white box is positioned at the start of the second video clip. Let go of your mouse cursor, and select this new box. Go to Inspector to check the duration. At present, this particular cross dissolve only lasts for one second. What I can do is manually drag this by left clicking on the edge of the white box and dragging this sideways. Note how the maximum size for this transition is two seconds, as I have only trimmed off one second each of the two videos that I am using, which will contribute to the cross dissolve transition. Let go of your mouse button once the cross dissolve is stretched to the maximum size.
When previewing this video, the sound of the first clip abruptly ends, and the audio in the second video clip commences with no transitional effect applied. So how can we make the audio in the first video clip go quieter towards the end, and with the sound of the second video clip increasing as this starts? Returning to your effects library once again, underneath Audio Transitions, go to find Cross Fade. The more decibels you use, the stronger your sound effect will be. In this case here, I'm going to stick with Cross Fade 0 dB. Left click and drag this to your audio track in the point between the two video files, as we did with Cross Dissolve. Let go and using the selection mode once again, stretch this rectangle out which appears to its maximum size of 2 seconds, which you can also verify in the inspector window. When selecting either of the transitional effects in future, both of these are selected. In order to select these individually, what we can do is deactivate the linked selection option by holding in Ctrl and pressing Shift and L. And using the selection mode tool, we can choose the transition that we want. Press delete to remove a transition of your choice. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.